Hey, this is Florian, and today we have a new tip for you on how to get more power on your volleys. But first, I have to introduce you to Greg Lesur, who is the newest member to the OTI instructional team. Now, Greg is one of the best instructors I know in the tennis industry, and that's why I'm very excited that he's now joining our team. He's very knowledgeable when it comes to teaching technique and he has now studied the OTI system extensively so that we can all teach along the same line. After meeting Greg, I quickly realized that he's extremely passionate about teaching doubles and teaching club level players how to be successful at the net in doubles. So this week, Greg will teach you how to become a dominating force up at the net in your doubles game. And that of course starts with hitting more powerful volleys so let's jump right into that first tip. Hello, this is Greg for Online Tennis Instruction. Today we're going to talk about a tip on how to maximize and get more power on your volley. Now, when you volley, you get pace from the incoming ball, but also you want to get pace from your legs. You want to increase your momentum through the contact point. So, small adjustment you can make. If you take a pivot step and you push forward, I want you to do this while you watch this, now I want you to take a step forward, load up on that right leg if you're a right-handed player and now I want you to push with the right leg onto the left foot. What you should be feeling is you'll feel extra power, extra leverage with, this, with the right leg. So you're going to be transferring more power into the shot. Now if you look from the side, this foot that's going out is going to initiate the shoulder turn. So when the foot goes out, just imagine the butt cap is now connected to the right foot. So when you step out, this initiates the turn, the racket stays in front of the right foot. That helps me, prevent me from having a, a, a too big a backswing. Now obviously when we, when we work on these things, we want to work in extremes. Then when you take the step through, this is your power, this is your contact point, connect the butt cap to the left toe, and you want to keep the racket in front as you step through the hit. Now by loading up on this right leg, the outside leg, it's going to allow you to drive through the shot a lot better. The same is true on the backhand side. Balls come, you'll split, you'll step out over here. That out step initiates the turn. Keep the rack in front of the left foot. Right? Again, we're just overemphasizing this so we can, so we can create a short, short swings. Now connect the butt cap to the right foot and you'll step through together, moving through the contact point. Now this has many applications for when you're playing at the net. Very often when you're closing in, you get a high ball. You come in over here, if you step too soon with this foot, what happens is the power is now gone and where do you get the extra power from? It's from the arm and you end up swinging. So many times when I have students that make that mistake, we work on moving to the ball of the floor to running in, then finding it with the outside hip on the right hip for the right hand is forehand volley, setting the racket up and then stepping through the shot using the power from the legs instead of stopping and now having to resort to the arm which causes an arcing movement which can often lead to missing those easy floaters in the net. Okay, now let's take a look at this with in action. We're really going to focus on loading up on this right leg so I'm ready to really push through and supply more momentum and more force into the shot. So let's start over here, split step out, through. See I'm stepping through, keeping the racket head up. And again, step out, through. Feet one just a little bit wider because this step will also allow you to reach much, much further. So ready, I step out, load up and stepping through. Now the same thing applies to the backhand side. So, got the ready position here, your split step, you'll step out. See, I'm loading up on this leg. I'm ready to push forward, so let's take a look. So ready, load out and through. Often it helps to say the step. Split, step out, step through. And again, let's try a wider one here. Ready, split out and step through. Those steps, if you're saying it, split step, step out, step through, is a great way for you to remember it and help you work on this part of your volleys. Okay, let's take a look at a few examples in slow motion. The split step, so you're stepping out, see how the toes point towards the side fence? That's going to allow you to push through with more force. Now watch the right foot how it moves through the contact point, the ball is gone, and then I'm landing. Let's look at the recovery, 
Split stepping, the foot comes back to the ready position. Now stepping out of the right foot, toes face the side fence. Again, it's going to allow you to push forward with a greater force. Watch how the left foot is still moving through the contact point. And the racket stays up. Okay, now here's a drill to help you work on that footwork. So you can start straddling the single sideline. You can step out slightly and forward towards the double sideline. Then connect the butt cap to the, to the left foot and step through. Back to the ready position, organize. Then you can straighten the arm, step for the back and volley. You step out towards the single sideline and then step through, organize the feet. Step out, step through, organize the feet. Out, through, organize the feet. Step out, through, and organize. Okay, so there's a tip on how to generate more power on your volleys. Make sure you go out and shadow swing these movements and ideally try to get somebody to feed you balls and then try to implement it in your play. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below so that I can get back to you.